The topic is effects of climate change on coral reefs. What are coral reefs? Coral reefs are massive limestone structures that provide food and shelter for marine life. Hard corals are responsible for much of the solid limestone framework of the reef. Built over hundreds if not thousands of years, some coral reefs are so large they can be seen from outer space. What are corals? Polyps are the actual coral animals. Thousands of these animals cover one coral branch or mount. A polyp has a small cylindrical body with an opening or mouth encircled by numerous stinging tentacles. Corals often grow into huge coral colonies or coral heads. Each coral head can be made up of hundreds or thousands of individual polyps which are all linked together to their neighbors by connective tissue including their stomach. So when one eats, or they all eat. Coral reef can be found in three broad regions, Caribbean and Atlantic, Indian Ocean and Red Sea, Pacific and Southeast Asia. The red dot represents area with coral reefs. Indonesia has more coral reefs and greater species diversity than any other country in the world. Types of coral reefs Fringing reefs lies around islands and continents and are separated from the shore by narrow, shallow lagoons. They usually parallel the coastline and at their shallowest point can reach the water surface. Barrier reef also grow parallel to the coastline but are separated by deep, white lagoons. At the shallowest point, they can reach the water surface forming a barrier to navigation. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia is the most famous example and is the largest barrier reef in the world. Atolls are the ring of coral that create protected lagoons and are often located in the middle of the sea. Atolls usually forms when islands surrounding by fridging reef sink into the sea or the sea level rises around them. They are often the top of the underwater volcanoes. The fringing reefs continues to grow and eventually form circles with lagoons inside. Bank and platform reef are open ocean reef that are simple structures with many different origins, yet no clear attachment to the coastline. Most of these reefs have an area that is exposed to wind and a sheltered side when where lagoons and small reef patches can be found. Larger and slightly submerged reef of these types are called shoals. Patch reefs, a small area of reef that occurs in shallow water and lagoons. This figure shows the ecosystem services provided by coral reef. Importance of coral reef, biodiversity. Coral reef have a very high level of biological biodiversity. The biodiversity is critical in maintaining the delicate balance of ecosystem. If one major species or population is removed, the ecosystem can be permanently disrupted. Coastal protection. Coral reef protects coastline and help to prevent erosion. They act as a natural breakwaters, absorbing the force of storm waves and reducing damage to the shore. Seafood coral reefs supply food to communities. Not only is seafood a major source of animal protein, coral reef fisheries are also important source of income. Economic value. Countries with coral reef industries derive more than half of their gross national product from them. Coral reef provide millions of people with jobs and income through fishing and tourism. Aesthetic and cultural value. Coral reef are one of the most colorful and unique environment in the natural world. Humans are drawn to the beauty of coral reef, which we explore by snorkeling, diving or through photographs. New medicines. Coral reef have been found to contain compounds that can be used in medicine, including some applied to the treatment of HIV, cancer, ulcer and cardiovascular diseases. Carbon sink. They absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Climate change affect coral reef ecosystem. Contributing factors that increase greenhouse gases in the atmosphere includes burning fossil fuel for heat and energy, producing some industrial products, raising livestock, fertilizing crop and deforestation. Climate change leads to a warming ocean which causes thermal stress 
that contributes to polar bleaching and infectious disease sea level rise may lead to increase in sedimentation for reef located near land based sources of sediment sedimentation runoff can lead to the smoothing of corals change in storm pattern leads to stronger and more frequent storm that can cause the destruction of coral reefs changes in precipitation increased runoff of fresh water sediments and land based pollutants contribute to algal bloom and causes murky water condition that reduce light altered ocean currents leads to change in connectivity and temperature regime that contribute to lack of food for corals and hamper dispersal of coral larva ocean acidification a result of increased carbon dioxide causes a reduction in ph level which decreases coral growth and structural integrity anthropogenic greenhouse gases emission have caused an increase in global surface temperature of approximately 1 degree centigrade since pre-industrial time this has led to mass coral bleaching events which combined with growing local pressure have made coral reef one of the most threatened ecosystem on the earth this figure is showing that 33% of reef building coral are threatened what is coral bleaching globally ocean warming due to climate change is a rapidly growing threat the zooxanthellae within coral tissue are sensitive to ocean temperature and ocean warming can cause the coral to displace their colorful algae a process known as blue coral bleaching this leaves behind the appearance of bright white skeleton and deprive the polyp of an important source of nutrition the coral eventually die if the symbiotic algae does not return coral bleaching has been observed in the great barrier reef of australia andaman and nicobar okinawa is the largest reef of japan in which 80% of the coral die due to bleaching This is the photograph which is comparing a healthy coral from the bleached coral. Coral reefs will be unable to keep pace with sea level rise. Light is essential for zooxanthellae to photosynthesize in coral reef. Photosynthesis promote the production of oxygen which in turn stimulate coral polyps growth and increase deposition of calcium carbonate and coral reef growth. Changes in the sea level an associated water depth will change the amount of sunlight reaching the coral reefs reef building corals contain symbiotic algae and require light to grow ever increasing water depth decreases the ability of that light and lessen a coral ability to grow and thrive as you can see the picture just given here carbon dioxide absorbed into the ocean from the atmosphere has already begun to reduce calcification rate in the reef building and reef associated organism by altering sea water chemistry through decrease in ph this process is called ocean acidification ocean acidification impact on corals and reefs leads to the grow more leads the coral to grow more slowly build more brittle skeleton divert energy from other processes that is reproduction healing damage etc which result in changed balance between construction and erosion reduce ability to keep up with rising sea level climate change causes diseases in our coral reef corals are living organism and as such they are susceptible to diseases high temperature can affect the severity of diseases high temperature is a stressor and as such it can decrease an organism's immune response and increase the virulence of pathogen this relationship between the temperature and the disease severity has been found in both terrestrial and aquatic systems there are a variety of different coral diseases a number of recent study indicates that warmer water and bleaching events may help disease causing organism to attack corals bacteria grow in warm water due to global warming bacterial pathogens pathogens become harmful to coral 75% death of coral reef happens due to white band disease there are many fungal diseases which can damage the coral aspergillosis is one of such fungal diseases some fungal diseases 
which affect the corals are dark spot disease and white box disease here the figure is showing a comparison between healthy alcohol coral colony with an alcohol coral colony with a white box disease white box disease is characterized by white patches or lesion and tissue loss everywhere on the coral colony and this is how the climate change causes disease in our coral reef cyclone threats to coral strong wind creates strong waves these waves heavily damage individual corals and destroy the structure of the reef tropical cyclones may cause highly destruction of coral reef in 1985 to 2012 45 corals of australia died due to cyclone coral reef workers as a natural barrier in the coastal regions it act as a buffer and protects the coastal region from the waves and storm that come in from the open ocean coral reef have been living with cyclones for million of years said dr pitman but recovery after a big battery is slow process which can take a decade or more this means that many coral reefs around the world will not have time to fully regrow before the next cyclone hits the team focused the study on the scott reef of the northwest coast of western australia the result are in 2010 you can see the picture of healthy coral and 2012 we can see the picture of the coral which is hit by the cyclone climate change and other threats to coral reef first is fluctuation in mineral composition of ocean there are many minerals present in the ocean water such as magnesium calcium etc on the account of global warming the ratio of mineral in the ocean water become disproportionate as a ratio of these mineral help to survive the corals as a result there is a loss of coral colonies for example coral reef of caribbean island collapse owing to mineral imbalance nutrients many coral reef have unique relation with the algae called zooxanthellae it live within the coral polyps they use sunlight and produce sugar for generating energy they transfer the energy to the coral instead of this coral reef transfer carbon dioxide to algae this algae is very sensitive to temperature due to global warming the every temperature of the ocean is increasing day by day as a result zooxanthellae are decreasing gradually solar radiation when maximum sunlight reaches on the bed of the ocean it increases stress among the corals it increases the rate of coral bleaching it also hamper on coral nutrients because excess solar radiation is made obstruction to produce sugar by the zooxanthellae thank you